one, we're going to do a full run through. All cameras should be sunk on this. Good morning, Facebook family and friends, my faithful, loyal YouTube subscribers. This is a message for Kanye West, because I, I was doing some research last night about this whole slavery thing, the 400 years mess. I, I also learned a lot. First off, slavery, slavery in the United States did not last approximately 400 years. It lasted 246 years. Slavery started in 1619. That's when it started. And it ended... In 1865, the slavery, as we know, we, as we know, after slavery, slavery was made illegal through the 13th Amendment, Amendment in 1865, that there was some still far-reaching issues for Black Americans who live in the United States. The laws, although on the book, slavery did continue in various different forms as it does today. But when you but you said that why did why did that blacks made a choice to remain this in bondage bondage all the years and years and even now to today, I, I wonder do you really understand your history and what it means to be a black man living in America when you've been stripped of everything, an education, an opportunity, and made to work for nothing, violence used against you. Whips, chains, dogs, police, all to keep you enslaved and working forever. Use of religion, sex. Um, someone made the comment that why did black, why did slaves continue to have babies? Until okay, slaves were being bred; they were forced to have sex to produce these children, to bring more slaves on, into the into the fold. But see, we don't know any of this stuff. I quite understand everything that took place. Because the people who wrote the history books are the people who own the slaves. So they don't want you to know everything. A lot of stuff was hidden. Some stuff we will never know or understand. But we do know there were plenty of slave uprisings throughout the South. There are plenty of slaves did, in fact, get in control of various plantations in an attempt to escape slavery, and it just was impossible. So to say that it was a choice is false. You should... And I think you might be saying this because you don't understand your own history, just like I don't understand my own history. We've been denied so much about our history as black Americans. And the little we do know ain't pretty. So imagine the stuff we don't know. I we don't understand. I'm 48. There's a little bit that I've learned in the past 48 years that I've lived living here in the United States is more than enough for me. There's, that right there is mind-boggling. As I sit here in Atlanta and I look around the city and I look at all the stuff that's going on in our community, I know who's responsible for this stuff. And it ain't people who look like me. We have no control over anything. We don't have any control of the laws on the books that were put in place years ago. We have no control over the food that we were given to feed years ago that has brought out health issues that have been passed down from generation to generation, physically and mentally. Because we don't know this stuff. You'd have to dig deep to find these answers and get a better understanding of why are blacks in the position that they are in right now? So they say, I already know. I ain't got to dig deep. I look around me and say, okay, I see, I know who's responsible for this. And it isn't us. No matter how, it's 2018. Can you break free from the Matrix? Only if you know the Matrix exists. Can you break free from Niggerville? You got to know it exists. A lot of people don't know it exists. For some people, this is all they've ever known. And so you also have to understand something. During slavery, a lot of slaves, that's all they knew, were decades of slavery. They didn't know anything else. They accepted that dysfunction as normal, and there was no way out. Or they would have escaped and, and left. Many did escape. You said you didn't want to see a $20 bill with Harriet Tubman. Do you know what Harriet Tubman did? 
she helped slaves to escape. Was something that you you said that she she was the person who's uh, the Underground Railroad. She was fighting the free slaves. She made a choice. It, it seems like you said you don't want to see her in a twenty dollar bill. The freedom fighter, the person who made the choice that I'm going to fight to get slaves, not just her, but she she could have just left them and, and been free. She came back many times and freed many slaves. Yeah, you definitely want to see her on a twenty dollar bill, um, Mr. West, because she represents the values that you're instilling, that you're trying to get people to understand. I would love to see Harriet Tubman on a twenty dollar bill, a hundred dollar bill, any other bill. Matter of fact, I'd rather meet Harriet Tubman than Jesus Christ because I know she's she exists. He don't. So when you look at these problems and issues, yeah, it's easy to blame black folks. White folks have gotten very good at saying, you niggas are responsible for what's going on in your lives, but that's not true. That's false. It has been false since the day we arrived here. We have no control over a lot of the stuff. And when we do try to get control over it, you get squashed down. I know what's going on in this country. I'm looking at this world. You know, I see the viciousness and the craziness that's happening in black, in black communities. Yes, yeah, slavery might have ended in 1865, but we are by no means free. You forget, kind of, I think you forget where you come from. You've forgotten where you've come from. Sometimes you can get caught up in things, money, wealth, fame, and forget you're just another poor nigger that nobody likes. Once that money is gone, look around you. There are a lot of people, a lot of black celebrities have fallen from grace, been on top of the world, and died with nothing. Nothing. If you know you're having a drug problem, a mental health issues, I pray and hope you're going to get the help that you need before you end up like a lot of the great black celebrities that we've had over the past few years dead. Many, for many years, Michael Jackson ran around her being very weird. Nobody could figure out what was going on in Michael Jackson's head. It wasn't until we found, they found Michael Jackson dead in that house that we began to see that Michael Jackson was having some serious issues mentally that he couldn't even sleep, that he needed to get a doctor to come in there and give him medication to, him, put, him, that is, that, that, to put him to sleep that you would give someone who was going into a hospital for an operation. A dangerous procedure, which should never have been done. But Michael Jackson's wealth and money and fame, he forced this doctor to do something that that doctor should have known better not to do. And they ended up killing him. We can imagine things ain't going to work out too well for you if you don't go get you some help. But nobody around you is probably even... Even, no one would ever, ever dare approach you and say, Kanye, your ass is crazy. You need some motherfucking help today. They're not going to tell you that because they're too afraid to tackle your ass, to walk up and say that to you. They're scared. My suggestion is if you're so concerned about slavery and what took place in the United States, sit down and start reading. Gain some knowledge about it so you can understand what, what took place. Don't sit around blaming people. Look, go read. Get the little bit of information that's out there. Go read it. Find out what took place. There's tons of books that tackle the subject of slavery in the United States. They're everywhere. You can even find them on the internet. Read them. We gain, gain knowledge. I, I know for a fact that average white American don't give a shit about no niggas in slavery. They don't care. Because it has had no effect on their lives. They don't care. They ain't got to read it. We have to be the ones to read it and gain knowledge and understanding. It benefits us, not them. So when you're surrounded by people who really don't care about the plight of black Americans and the vast majority of people just don't care, there's no need for white folks to care about black folks. Why would they? They never cared since we got here. We came here to serve a purpose. We were workers, slaves. We didn't come here to drive Bentleys and Ferraris and live in Beverly Hills, California. That was not their intentions. You better believe they don't like seeing that happen. 
I'm on these streets every day, and I see and I see why I'm driving my little cars. I tell my folks, look, how did he buy that car? They've been like this forever. They better see me homeless and standing on the side of the road with a sign begging for food. Then they say, okay, that's where that nigga need to be. They look over there and say, okay, that's more appropriate. How they operate? Not all of them. Not all, my, all of my hearts are filled with hate like that. I don't surround myself with people like that. Because they can be devious. I find that, I mean, you do have money. Large amounts. At one point, I had a little bit of money. I know where near the type of money you got, Mr. West. But I find that people were hanging on. They were just there just because of the wealth or what variety that you brought to the table. I was this suspicion, Kanye. Things don't improve for you physically and mentally and financially. You're going to see another side of white folks that you ain't used to, that you, that you may have forgotten exist. As they bail on your ass and run for the hills. Hopefully that won't happen. And you'll be okay. Kanye, I like you. I like your music. I think you know. I don't think you're bad. I don't. I don't think you quite understood what you were saying. And you might have understood what you're saying. You misworded it, and it might have came out the wrong way. But I do think we all, as African Americans, use could you could use a trip to some museums around the country and get some good reading material to understand. Why we have the problems that persist in black America today. The number one reason is religion. These white folks, the slave owners, gave us an invisible being. Christianity, Jesus. And they pointed to this figure and said, there's a better life out there as long as you stay a good slave. When you die, you go to heaven. Black folks still believe that bullshit to this day. They honestly do believe that when they die, they're going to go to heaven. And if they don't do right, they're going to go to hell. Jesus Christ, heaven, and hell do not exist. All false, made-up stories by white folks. Fake. With that, religion, which is beat into us, has controlled our lives for centuries now. Even today, as I ride through my neighborhood, there are hundreds of churches over here. And black folks in there screaming and shouting to Jesus, waiting for a miracle as everything falls around, falls down around them. They're hoping for a miracle. This is the miracle. It's in your own hands. At this point in the game, we can take some control, Kanye, of our lives. We gotta give up holding our hands in this position. But I hear bow down to a God who doesn't exist. And begin fighting and standing up. It's gonna take a lot of work. It ain't gonna be pretty. Folks won't be able to drive BMWs and Mercedes and Bentleys while you're fighting against the white oppressor. It's almost like a civil war, and that is what this country needs, and it's going to head to that direction. It's going to take a civil war to change the stuff around. you got an imbalance here now. You're either rich or poor. There is no middle ground. Unfortunately, the vast majority of blacks are poor. Whose fault is that? Theirs. The white rich folks. So, I know what the problem is. I don't pay much attention about people talking about something. You can pull yourself up from the bootstraps. If you ain't got no bootstraps, how the hell are you going to pull yourself up? When slavery ended, what exactly did white folks do for blacks? What did they do to lift them up? After slavery ended in 1865, what exactly did the United States government do to assist slaves into leaving a normal life here in the United States? Oh, I can tell you, they didn't do a goddamn thing. That's what happened. Nothing. But they did give the slave owners $200 per each slave that they had. They were more concerned with selling up with them than the slaves. Black folks, they never had a chance in this country, Kanye. It wasn't designed that way. It wasn't meant to be.
Like I said, Kyle, I'm not bad at you. I'm not. Mad. I think what you did also sparked a very important conversation, so people can get out and stop dancing to Beyonce all day long and playing video games and waiting for the next episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta to have a true conversation about our community and why it is what it is today. So it intrigued me to go do research. Found a couple of book titles. I'm gonna go read these books before I recommend them. I gotta read. I saw some books on Atlanta. I said, "Oh, I'm gonna read this." This goes deep into stuff. I like to read. I love education. I love history. The only way you can know who you are and where you came from. If you sit around reading the Bible all day, that ain't a history book. That's a book of fiction. Toss that shit in the trash can. And go read a real book. But look, it is 7.30 in the morning. Kanye, I know you in bed. Sleep. Wherever you are. And then one of the fastest smasher eight-star hotels, $10,000 a night with security start at your front door. I'm over here in the hood. I got to go out and walk these dogs and make sure I get back in here without getting carjacked, shot, and killed in my own driveway over here in South DeKalb County. It happens at this time in the morning. If you like my videos, click like. Share them with family members and friends. Kanye, I look forward to hearing from you. You know, I know you ain't going to watch this poor nigga's video. I, but if you did, shoot me an email. I'm out of here. I'm finna drink my damn coffee and go walk these damn dogs and watch out for the damn hood bats to make sure you don't kill my ass while I'm out there walking my damn dogs. Anyway, what is today? Today is Thursday. It is May 3rd, the year is 2018. I'm out of here, guys. Enjoy your Thursday.